wouldn't give to study that thing. sent me. I found something odd. Each scavenger's neurons were firing at an abnormal rhythm. What does that mean? It's only a theory, but I think some people are more susceptible to complications that can happen during the cryo process. Their neural paths were altered in cryo sleep. Now that we're back here, we should dig around for info on Aenea's water. Maybe her office? Everyone's treating you good, I hope. What can I buy? Step off. Not allowed back here. You've survived the gang leaders and the worms so far. 
I'm impressed. What happened to the other salvage runner, Lieta? The Angara? Who's asking? I am. Lieta's dealt with enough. She doesn't need a Pathfinder poking around. She has a friend here. He wants to make sure she's okay. Yeah? Where was he when Lieta was in trouble? Just tell me where she is. I don't know. Her ship was gone, so I flew her to Kadara. I didn't ask questions. Talk to Colt Dalton if you want to know more. He's the docks manager on Kadara. She had to go through him to get anywhere. Take it easy. Always do. This is Aenea's office. Coast is clear. Get on getting that door open. As expected, it's locked. A scout should tell you how best to proceed, Pathfinder. Got the code for the office door. in case Aeneas strolls by. An underground lake. That's where she's getting her water. Got the nav point. Let's get out of here.
junk pile. They'll want to defend it. Looks like outlaws. I wonder what the Remnant Builder's plans were. I'm disappointed, Pathfinder. I thought you were someone I could trust. I welcomed you into my home, and you repay my kindness by robbing me. Hey, I didn't take anything. Left every single drop of water where I found it. Count them if you like. Very glib. Do you know why I do this? My brother tried to help your people when they first came here. He showed them where to find shelter, allowed them to take freely from our water tanks. He was killed for his trouble. I won't be as foolish as Asgar. That's awful. You have my sympathy. I've no use for sympathy. You can keep it. These scavengers respect no one, not me, not you, but they do respect the planet. As long as they need me to survive, they live by my rules. You want me to forget everything I've seen? Exactly. You say nothing. You allow me to protect myself and my home how I want. How long have you known about this water? 
Asgar and I found it years ago, on a mining expedition. The Remnant nearly killed us. I knew, even then, that I wanted to keep it a secret. It gave us an advantage. It took time to convince Asgar, but he came around eventually. I made him promise. You expect me to do this just because you asked nicely? Your Nexus needs resources to survive. Elidin is rich in those. What I gather, I will share, just so long as Elidin remains mine. You have a deal. I'll say nothing about what I found here. You've made the right choice. In return, I'll share the resources I gather with you. I'll leave whatever I can spare in my office. Think of it as a tithe. Temperature at the Paradise is currently 32 degrees Celsius, Pathfinder. That's quite a change. The vault really did its job. You haven't said anything to anyone, I hope. Don't forget to check the office if you haven't already. Left something in there for you. You hinted at your story when we last talked. Your brother, the lake. I'd like to know more. Feels like so long ago. We were just exploring, looking for places, scrap minerals, anything. Asgar provoked a pod of remnant, and we figured they had to be guarding something. That's how we found the lake. It allowed us to make Elidin our refuge. And then the Nexus Exiles came along. Asgar felt sorry for them. They were so far from home. Most were fine, but one man wanted to know where the water was. He captured Asgar, forced him to tell, then killed him. I avenged my brother, but I learned I couldn't trust outsiders. What that exile did was terrible. I don't blame you for not trusting us. But now I've found one of your kind who is trustworthy. As they say, the sunrise begins with a sliver of light. You hinted at your story when we last talked. Feels like... I avenged my brother, but I learned I couldn't trust outsiders. Do you think you can keep this up forever? They'll find the water eventually. I don't know. I'll take each day as it comes. Perhaps with your help, I can keep these exiles from destroying Elodin. I'll look around. <laughs> I'd like to test the serum on a live subject, but we need a good candidate. Scan the scavengers at the Paradise again. I'll tell you when I see a potential.
star charts again. What? I have my star charts right here. <laughs> I'm gonna peel your skin off and feed it to you. Man, I hid those charts. You kill me, no chance you're leaving this hellscape. And I'm gonna kill you right here. I just told you I have your map. I just want to give you this medicine. It might make you feel better. Feel better? Haven't felt this good in years. I don't want your blasted medicine. If you take this, you can feel normal again. Start your life. <laughs> A life of serving the Nexus? Of being bored out of my mind? No thanks. I'm free as a bird now, and damn, it feels great. Just leave me alone. Leave all of us alone. We're happy just how we are. What if your brain decays more? You can't live like this. Just take the serum. And if I say no? I won't make you, but you'll be making a big mistake. You're a pain in my ass. Fine, give me the stupid thing. Finally. I take it, you leave me alone. Now shove off. Not the first patient I've had who resisted treatment. Are they really happy this way? It's their sickness talking. Is it? I wonder. I'll monitor his progress and send you my findings. Thanks, Ryder. Took your stupid medicine. Got nothing to say now. I'll kill each one of you. See if I won't. Oh, 